are attached with the lens and they are forming the interact part of the lens without which the lens is incomplete and without the lens the lens are incomplete anterior lens epithelium single layer of nucleated epithelium cells interconnected with gap junction and dysmosomes the only metabolically active part of lens functionally divided into two zones pre-equatorial zone and central zone cubital cells what are lens fibers forms the main bulk of the lens long thin transparent cells formerly packed with diameter of 4 to 7 micron and length up to 12 mm newly formed fibers contain only the organelles and as the fiber matures the nuclei disappears the cells are linked by gap junction and integrations uh, that look like ball and sockets now uh, you have le uh, learned about the nuclei and cortex and uh, all these in the lens lens lecture now what are ciliary zones these are ciliary zones as a news are the su uh, suspensory ligaments See, it, they are the series of fibers arising from ciliary processes process it holds the lens in the position assist the action of ciliary muscles they are attached to the lens capsule at zonular lamella and what are the parts of ciliary zonules that are parts orbicularis zonular plexus posterior zonular limb equatorial zonular limb zonular fork anterior zonular limb and what are the types of zonules Ty zonules are of three types tension zonules or fiber zonules or fibers which anchor the primary zonules to the basement uh, membrane of the valleys of ciliary processes secondary zonules zonules those connect the primary zonules with each other then the primary zonules zonules those attaches the lenses then what is the now we will discuss about the synergy of lenses in this topic then what is the physiology of lenses water first first of all water 65 percent of total volume dehydrated in dehydrated street tightly packed fibers with minimum extracellular spaces dehydration is maintained by active sodium pump important factor maintaining lens transparency and refractive index lens proteins are soluble lens crystalline Alpha crystalline, beta crystalline, gamma crystalline, 88% of total lens protein and alpha crystalline or the largest crystalline accounts 31% total lens protein. Most abundant total lens protein are beta uh, crystalline, gamma crystalline, small crystalline, then lipids mainly the cholesterol lipoproteins uh, lubricating cements substance substance between lens fiber cholesterol and lecithin lecithin content increases the age now it is continuous supply of atp requires for transport of ions and amino acids maintenance of lens dehydration continuous protein synthesis now sources of nutrient uh, nutrient supply is aqueous humor 
glucose metabolism how glucose is metabolized in the lens main source it is the main source of energy glucose enter the lens by simple diffusion and facilitate the diffusion epithelium cells glut 1 lens fiber cells glut 3 glucose is rapidly metabolized so that level of free glucose and uh, glucose in lens is more is less than 1 by 10 level in aqueous now what is anaerobic metabolism and aerobic metabolism anaerobic metabolism accounts for 85 percent of glucose metabolism by lens it provides more than 70 percent of the energy for lens one mole of glucose gives only two moles of hp lactate generate undergoes two pathways of metabolism diffuse diffusion from the lens into the aqueous further metabolism by Krebs cycle Krebs cycle is a aerobic mechanism limited to epithelium one mole of glucose gives 38 moles of AT, ATP in Krebs cycle only 3% of lens glucose metabolized by this pathway but generates up to 20% of total ATP needed to the lens. Then hexose monosulfate shunt accounts for 5% of glucose metabolism important source of NADPH and pentose pentose required for other other metabolism metabolic pathway that is sorbitol pathway and glutathione reductase sorbitol pathway accounts for 5% of glucose metabolism when sorbitol accumulates within cells of lens it sets up an osmotic gradient that includes induces influx of water and lens swelling and ultimate loss of lens transparency now transport amino acid transport also include in pump leak concept three types of pumps acidic basic neutral amino acids inside the lens amino acids are utilized for protein formation and energy production or diffused back into aqueous by leak maintenance of transparency transparency by thin epithelium regular arrangement of lens fiber little cellular organelle little extracellular space lamellar conformation of lens proteins maintenance of the transparency by relative dehydration avascularity auto oxidation semi permeable character of lens capsule these all are the transport man types mechanism of lens and this all is about the zonules how they are important what is the mechanism and what how what are the functions of zonules of eye in daily life and um, this much anatomical terminology the zonule of sin uh, is a ring of fiber strand in which all the ciliary muscles body with the strain lens is attached okay now that's all for today's topic it is a short topic so i would like